Okay, for news at 1230, 501 Life is hitting the streets with its March edition. It's celebrating women who are making a difference in their communities. The Conway Regional Women's Council is among the groups making an impact on the health of the community. Matilda Hatfield and Dot Welch join us as well as our friend Sonia Keith with 501 Live. Thank you, ladies, for joining us. Thank oh, you for thank having you. us. Thank a you. gorgeous thank cover you. as always. Oh, we love checking out 501 Life and kind of talk about what's featured this, this month. Well, we are all about women and um, you know, women throughout the 501 are making a tremendous impact. And in Conway, the Conway Regional Women's Council is one of those groups. And so Matilda wrote a guest column for this edition, <laughs> outlining the Women's Council, kind of the history and the purpose. And Dot and, and Matilda are joining us today. Yeah, they kind of tell us about it. And kind of about the history of it as well. Sure. Well, the Conway Regional Women's Council was founded 19 years ago, but by a previous CEO, John Robbins, who pulled together a group of women, powerful, um, knowledgeable women to help make an impact in their community about health specifically. And over the years, the council has expanded, it has adapted to our community, and really continues to grow to this day. It's wonderful. Talk about all the amazing things the council does. Well, through its membership, um, we have education, uh, programs, mm -hmm. uh, teacher grants, and Dazzle Days. I think most people yes. in the central Arkansas area <laughs> we all love Dazzle, Dazzle days. days. Exactly, exactly. And that's so. just a little bit of what you do. So, just a little bit, yeah. Absolutely. Um, so neat what you're doing. Conway is doing such big things, and this is highlighted in this month's edition. Um, with all of the activities that you do, with all the things you do for teachers, what does it mean to see the impact that it's making? Well, we know that women make the majority of healthcare decisions in their families, including with their children. And we also know that our children are with our teachers mm -hmm. more than just about anyone else. And so the Women's Council tries to find, including the teacher's grants, innovative ways to reach women, to help them make informed decisions, to empower them, and um, really to give back to their community. So our well, council... also promoting health and fitness. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. And one of the new programs I really like is CHAMPS where they bring high school students to the Conway Regional Campus and for a week they're exposed to different segments of healthcare. Okay. And these are young people that are going to probably end up going into the healthcare field as well. Wow. And so the Women's Council made that possible. That's amazing what you're doing. Incredible work that you're doing. And um, I love what you do for teachers. I always say teachers and nurses are angels. I mean those are just Absolutely. amazing people that are making a difference. You all are making a difference. The CHAMPS program is really cool and that's highlighted in the it magazine is. this month. It is. Okay. And of course you can always Always check out all the people who have taken pictures with their magazine yeah. all over the world. Yeah. 501 Life magazine, pick up yours today. Thank you, ladies, for joining us. Thank you for having us. We'll put all the info on our website and be back right after this. Stick around.